Hi, I'm Eric Lichwager and welcome to another edition of Quick Chop. Tonight we're going to be doing one of my favorite rustic recipes which are meatballs with portobello mushrooms inside. You're going to love it. One of the favorites of my friends and family. Really quick and easy to do and uh, we're going to knock this out. You're going to love it. Let's get chopping. Quick Chop is provided by Mission Grocery Outlet in San Francisco. With this recipe, one of the just the things that you need to do is just prepping the ingredients, which it's really not difficult. I've got about a pound of lean ground beef, about a half a pound of ground pork, some minced uh, red pepper, minced portobello mushrooms, and some red onion. We're just combining these, these ingredients. The most time consuming thing is mincing the, these ingredients. If you've got a home processor or a food processor at home, perfectly acceptable to use that. The finer you get the, the, the chop on those things, it's great. But you know, just take your time with a knife, you can just cut them up just fine. We can prep these a little bit, which I kind of like to do, so I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna throw that in a pan. I'm just gonna um, saute it just a little bit here. Get your oven on. There it is. So here's a little tip for you. So how do you know when the pan's ready to saute something and you want things to go into a hot pan, right? What you can do, if, if you've got, got it handy, just put your pan on the stove and just put about a half a teaspoon of water in your pan. And I'm just gonna watch that. The minute that water is boiled off and evaporates, I know the pan's ready. So you don't even need to be watching it. So we're gonna throw these ingredients in there and just gonna give them a quick saute to uh, bring, bring them up to temp. So as you see here, the water's starting to bubble off and in a couple of seconds, it's gonna be, be just right. Okay, so my water's boiled off. See, now I can add the oil and it's gonna be just, just right. And we can see because as soon as we add that oil, the, it starts moving around really well. So in go the onions. The peppers, mushrooms. A little bit of salt. And while that's coming up, get started getting the meat in the bowl. So today I've got, like I said, about a half a pound of ground pork and a pound of lean ground beef. Another ingredient you can add is also lamb. You can put a, like a quarter pound of lamb in there, which adds kind of another layer to it, which is great. So we'll throw some salt in there. So I'm not looking to cook this mixture. I'm just kind of helping it along a little bit. So that's good. Okay, your seasonings, whatever you want to add, uh, is your own preference. What I've, paprika and uh, chili powder, which I like to put in there, gives it just a little bit of a pump to it. I'm gonna add some more olive oil, as a matter of fact. Um, we can't just go with this, we've gotta put something in there that's gonna kinda bind it all together. So, about a half a cup of breadcrumbs, and an egg. So the egg, we're just gonna whip it up a little bit. And the egg with the breadcrumb is gonna kinda hold that all together. So when we start to make our meatballs, they're, they're gonna hold their shape when we put them in the oven and not fall, you know, tend to fall apart. Or, or as they cook, they can kinda split open.
got some, uh, some fresh brioche buns from a, from a baker that made them for us. Instead of making meatballs, you can just smash those things down and make hamburgers out of them and throw them on the grill. They're fantastic. Um, I've done that with uh, friends over in Europe and when they're trying to expose them to hamburgers and they, they think McDonald's and I'm like, no, I got something, don't worry. They went nuts for that. The meatballs are great. You can also just throw that in a cake pan and do a meatloaf on it. Um, garnish it whatever way you like. Um, like I said, if you want to do hamburgers, you can do hamburgers and the particular relishes and condiments that go with that. Um, what I've done today is I actually made a chickpea and kale marinara sauce. And we're just going to serve it on the side. We're not going to just pour it over it, everything. We just kind of serve it on the side a little bit um, with some fresh herbs and fantastic stuff. Love it. Because of the kind of rusticness of this dish, I brought along a uh, really nice Merlot from Tangley Oaks in Mendocino County. This is a 2015 uh, great deal down at the Mission Grocery Outlet. I believe we've got that down there at $5.99. I think it's about $16.99 normal price on that. This should go beautifully with what we've done today. So we're just gonna... So we've got a nice bell-shaped glass here on a nice white background, which is a really great way to take a look at your wines. We're looking for the color. It's got a bit of a garnet color to it. And the miscus is evenly colored. Because it's a 2015, it is gonna have a little more of that rustiness to it, which is what we like. Seems pretty clear. Nice oak, black cherry, cassis. Yeah, typical Merlot. Because it's a 2015, that that those tannins have mellowed a little bit. Um, it's picked up some some nice earthiness and minerality that's coming through on that. And the fruit has kind of toned down a bit. So that's what we want. If this were a much younger wine, it would probably be a, a little more purple in color, and the fruit would have a much more forward. Uh, overtone to it. So it's really a great deal. I can't believe that is uh, $5.99. It's an incredible buy. Usually with dishes, uh, when I'm cooking a lot, I, I love using fresh herbs. I mean, I, I, I use certain spices, obviously, that have to be dried, but if when I have the opportunity to use a fresh herb, I will do it. I've got some rosemary. It's going to go really nicely with this dish, and also it's going to complement the marinara that I've got there. So you just take your rosemary and, and de-wood it, you know, just get the pieces that have, you know, very little wood to them. I'm going to mince this a little bit. And we're just going to drizzle and sprinkle a little bit of that on. Rosemary in its fresh state is pretty, uh, pretty strong. Meatballs are out of the oven. We're going to get this ready for us.
Now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of the rosemary on there. There you have it. So meatballs with portobello mushrooms and a little bit of garnish sauce in there that we made. And then we're gonna have that with our Tanglios Merlot. Let's give it a try. Super. I hope you enjoyed one of my favorite recipes to make. And uh, we love, again, any, uh, any comments or any tips or ideas or recipes that you may have. Send them over to quickchop at newsupnow.org. Get chopping. Thanks.